Hello and welcome to this presentation. My name is Lee Snyder, the product manager for the Still segment here at Trimble. And what I'll quickly be discussing are the CNC export enhancements available in Tecla Structures version 2016. So just to highlight a few of these, we have now the ability to control the hard stamp placement controls. We've moved some of the CNC advanced options to the user interface here for the export just to make it easier so that you don't have to go hunt for those settings. And then we also have the ability to customize the DSTV header to show what you want or to remove lines that you don't want with the end goal in mind of making this all easier and more seamless to get the proper exports that are required. So let's just um, take a look real quickly at some of these settings. So here in the new version, if you come down to export NC files, you can see the new button that's been added to show the NC log file. Here, if we come in and take a look at the contour marking settings, we have some set up to exclude for some certain secondary parts. But you can also come in and you can define an edge distance so that it doesn't get to the, too close to the K value or to the flange. If we look at the hard stamp settings here, you can see that we're going to come in and create those. And here's where you can control where it's placed. So with the drop down for the side, you can put it to the top, front, behind, or bottom, however you would want. And then you can also position those along the part or in the depth of the part, or have it set by the orientation mark, whichever you would prefer. So if we come in and run that file and then take a look at it, you can see there that there's the hard stamp that's on the top face of that beam. And then we have the hard stamp there for that individual plate and then you can see there's the offset for that contour marking so that it's away from the flange there. So we'll take a look at another uh, quick example here. This is for the cord tolerance. So you can see we have this hole in here that's segmented and we have two different uh, cord tolerance um, identified in there. If we come in and take a look at these particular settings, we'll just go to edit here, click on advanced options. You can see the curve detection is set to no, so it's not going to identify any of these tolerances. So when we open up this file, we're going to see the segments just like we do there within the model. If we come back and edit the settings here, to say yes and set this cord tolerance so that it's more than that 2.13 then we just set this to two and a half and now the right side of this hole is going to show up as curved as you can see in this file there over on the right so let's go back one more time edit these particular settings for the cord tolerance on the left we'll increase that to four now both of those will show up and then we'll get the curve there on the left and the right side uh, just as you would expect. So just some uh, nice easy improvements there giving you better output. So just to quickly summarize one last thing you now have the ability to customize the DSTV header so making it now possible to remove any unwanted lines. You also have the ability to add in four custom lines of text UDAs or report properties uh, to give you any sort of output that you would need. So uh, that's a quick overview of the CNC export enhancements in Tecla Structures version 2016. Feel free to check them out, send us any feedback that you may have, and we hope you enjoy this new development.